everybody, this is Vicki from Messy Table Studio. I am back with another little video um, working on my Christmas book. And um, I just turned the camera off from the last video and decided, well, I need to keep going. So um, I'm working in this signature with the um, ornaments. Still haven't done anything about this. And then I found this and decided that I wanted to put this in here because it's so cute. This was a Christmas card from a friend to uh, my husband and I. And all I had to do was trim a little off the bottom. And when I trimmed, I took this much off the bottom. And when I did that, this came off. I wanted to save the buttons, the little buttons, even though, you know, they got the little candy canes and bead trim. I just could not resist. So I'm going to save this maybe for something else. I thought about putting it at the top here, and I thought, oh, how done with that look? And it didn't fit. And then I thought, if I put it there, then you can't. So forget it. So that's in here now. That was quick, right? How come on camera they never happen that fast? I have no idea. Don't ask me. I don't know. All right, so I found these two things here while I was rummaging through other stuff. And I want to put this in here because I just love this angel, but she is big. And if I cut her, she she looks like a watermelon. That's what I like about it. She looks like the watermelon with the seeds. And there's the rind. <laughs> Probably wasn't meant to be that way. It's just my perception because I love watermelon. All right, so she's going in here one way or the other. I'm going to get her in there. This might be a little easier. So I think what I'm going to do is set this aside. I'm going to take my little ruler and cut that's too much cut this out here oh nice job okay this might be a job for skizzers yeah okay so let's take that off because this is not a straight sort of picture well It's wonky to begin with, so it probably should be cut that way. I'm not going to leave this stuff on because I don't have time to really fussy cut that silliness there. Just trim this down a little bit. And then I'll take care of this. Just cutting around the gold portion. And then this stuff really will go in the trash. This is nothing I'm going to save. So, let's see what we got going on here. We have green and red on this side. This is very busy. I don't know if that's too busy for this. Let's see what else we got going on here. Uh, no, that can't go there. And that's very busy here, so no. There's nothing on the back. I don't know. This one's getting kind of fat already. And I know I haven't done anything about this. Let's see what we got going on here. No, I don't think so. Hmm. Uh huh. No. All right, so it's going to be another one of those guessing games. No. And this. I'm still working on. I went and looked for some stuff to put down the side. Haven't found anything that fits yet. So that's still a work in progress. As is this page. And there's that one. And this is done on the back. So it'll have to be the signature. Maybe because this has a little blue in it. It's kind of softer colors. I put it on the opposite here. So um, has a nice little saying on it. It says, snow flies. Fires glow, white doves fly, winter blows. Candy canes, Christmas wanes, snowfall melts, best memories remain. That's a beautiful poem. And how am I going to put that in here? Hmm. Let's see. Do we have a tippy outy thing here? Nope. Nope. This one's already been... Uh, this one's already been kind of worked on. So I need two pages that are close together. We could put this here. And then 
put this here. I don't know. I don't know. <gasps> okay, so I could put this here and do a tip out for this. So when you pull it back, then it reveals the poem. The poem. Can't do it that way. It's too short. So it has to be a skinny effort. And this just barely fits in there. Actually, it doesn't fit in there. So we'll have to go to this side so we can tip this in here. Or we could do it like this, cover this with pretty Christmas paper, and then open it up, and there it is with the point. Yeah, that'll do it. So we need to find some lovely Christmas paper. Special Christmas stuff. Um, let, oh, I like this old-fashioned stuff. And then it'll flop this way, right? Yep. Yep, that'll, well, wait, let me see. What else is in here? I want to make a snap judgment. I'm look. See, I have all kinds of paper that I can't use because of the direction that it goes. Um. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. We'll take this little guy here, and we're going to glue him to this. He has to be nice and straight on here for it to flip, right? No, it's got to be this side, because he has to open this so it doesn't matter if this is straight but it matters if this is yeah let's just glue it okay so we're gonna glue him on here if you hear someone laughing my husband has the headphones on watching a football game so I'm sorry if you hear him they must have had a good call or a bad call, and he laughed or something. I don't know. I don't watch the games with him anymore. It's just too traumatic for me. All right, so I'm going to glue this on here and let it sit. And then I need for the poem to stick out because it's gray on gray. So let's just let this dry. And then this back over here. So the poem will be on this side. Should I make the poem smaller or leave it large like this and I'm going to do the corners. I'm going to clip the corners out. And round them out a little bit. You know, if I had any brains, what I might could do is take this strip of paper and turn it this way and put it here. But I would have to make this shorter. Sometimes my noodle works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, it's just, it matters not what day of the week it is. It's very inconsistent. Oh, let me use a paper cutter so I make sure I get this right. Here is the paper cutter. It is, <laughs> it is, uh, right here. <laughs> I didn't clean the desk off all the way last night, but just enough that it's annoying that I can't find stuff. So let me make this small. 
and then I'll redo the I'll shave a little bit off the sides just a hair Take a little more off this side. Now we'll do this. And um, because this has, where is it? Because this has red I feel like I need to ink the edges of this well, let's see if we can make actually let's use the paper cutter <laughs> let's not get dumb So there's that. And then I will tape it. And I'll tape it on here. Or somewhere in here. Oh, see, I can't do it on that side because it's got the gingerbread man on there. Hmm. Okay, I can do it on this side. I'll put it here, because the brown in the brown. I'll flip it over and then it'll be the red. And then maybe what I will do is take this and then I will ink, that's about the same height. Okay, so if I put the poem on here, smack dab in the middle of this piece of paper, this is going to be over it. So it looks like it belongs there, right? And then when you open it, when you open it, this clashes terribly with this. Bowie. I think um, I'm going to ink this with some brown. Sorry, you got interrupted. I had a video call. I thought it was a fanny dial, but it was real. <laughs> so while I was talking on the phone, I clipped the edges off of this and glued this up, inked it with the brown and then glued it in here because I think the brown with the brown looks okay. Now I have to decide what to do about the, the little birdie here. I'm thinking that this, while I like this look, I think this does not go well with the rest of it. So. Birdie might be having to be put someplace else. Let me think about that a few minutes. All right. All right, I got some washi tape. I went ahead and inked this side. I didn't ink the other side because it's got all red on it. So I'm going to try this and see how I like it this way. And that way I don't have to put brown tape on the other side. Whoops, it didn't stick. I don't have to put brown tape on the other side. I will glue that down if I decide I want to leave it like that. I didn't put it in there very straight, did I? Okay. I do like the way this looks where it's on top of it. 
but this really does not go very well with this, does it? But I do like the presentation this way. If I put the bird on the outside this way, it doesn't go very well with this. But this goes with this, and this might have to not go with anything. <laughs> I'm going to leave it in for now until I decide what to do with it, because I don't want to mess around with it too long. All right, so there's that. Um, I keep thinking about those houses that my green houses need um, some kind of something down the side. And I saw something earlier, now I can't remember what it was. Oh, it's in here. So let me get this other signature back again. Where's the houses? There we go. Let's take a look. There is this right here that has blue in it. I might could cut the blue, not might, I am cutting the blue. <laughs> I'm going to cut the blue and see how it does down the side. Hope I got that straight. You never know with these things if it's really going to be straight or not. And then I might be able to fasten some words or something here. Or just glue that on there so it detracts from uh, so that it detracts from what I did already. I think I like to put the words, I want something over here about the house. Silent Night. Oh, I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to leave this in here so that I can make a decision, you know, at 3 a.m. when I can't sleep because all I can think about is, should I do this or not? There's that one. And let's go back to this one. This is so cute. I'm going to pull this one off. I know I shouldn't, but I'm going to. I'm going to cut this one off because he's going to hang outside the book. And I don't want him hanging outside the book. So I'm just going to do a little snippy snippy. There we go. And now all the beads are going to run everywhere. There. That looks a little bit better. There we go. Uh, let's see what's down here. Okay, we have this. I, I might just leave that the way it is and just glue it. I have this one. Now I need to do something in here, but I don't know what. I need to look at some of the other pictures and things that I still have. I, I've been looking at these guys right here. And I'm not really sure what I can do about them because my pages are so thin. I don't think that I can get the door in between them along with the lamp post, which is just so pretty. It's very tall and it'll stick out the top of the book. But I just love the way this looks. This is a nice little vignette here, but I don't have any people like this. So if I mess them up, um, they're really gonna be messed up. Oh, well, here's two on the other side. I wonder if these two old biddies will fit on here better than the other side. And I can still use this for their back. Yes, that's what I'll do. Okay, so let me see what I can do about these ladies here. I need to cut. Oh, I hate to cut this up. Oh, it pains me. Ooh. Even if I photocopy it, it's... I wonder if I can scan it. And then cut it to, yes, that's it. I'll scan it. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm not very good at using my computer to make things large or small. So this is what I ended up with. This was the first printout. I did try to make it smaller, but they're, they're not going to fit in the book. 
Then I made it, try to make it smaller again, and it just made it wider, and then there's lines in it. Nope. Then I tried to make it square. <laughs> this is what I got. So I'm batting a thousand. Um, so I thought I would take a look to see how tall this guy is. The man seems to be the tallest thing other than the um, light post. A smaller ruler. So the top is tallest part of his hat to the bottom of his feet is a little less than five inches. And she is shorter than he is. So that's not a problem. The light post is one uh, five inches. <laughs> five inches. Okay. Oh uh, alright, so let me fiddle around with this. I would like to use this, but unfortunately what I printed off these two prints are not going to work. And I tried to make it so it would make it square and it saved the photo somewhere, but I have no idea in what file it saved it in because I clicked too quickly and I have not a clue. So... I don't know how to save this. I mean, I don't, I can save this and then I might have to print this off and then cut this out and kind of move it closer. Cause that door is just up too high. I really don't want to fussy cut these out. But I need to make them shorter. All right, since it's not going well, we gonna see what we have here. I'll cut the light part out. I don't want that right now. All I want is these two peeps. He's five inches, so he'll be just tall enough I can put him in the book. I don't think this is going to work, but we will give it a try. Huh. Well, look at there. Oops. Okay. Well, he will fit. They will almost fit in here. I just need to trim off her fanny. <laughs> or trim just a hair off of him, and then I'll have to trim more off of her. And then there'll be no street lamp. And there'll be no door. So what I could do is take the wreath. Hang on a second. Where is it? Take this and then overlay it on the door. Yeah. Okay, so that's what I will do. I will take the wreath off. I will cut this out and lay it on top of the door that's already there to make it look like that's the height of the door. All right, here we go. So that would block the people. So the only way I can get this on there is to fussy cut and see if I can put the wreath. I would really like to put the wreath on the door, but I don't know if it's going to fit. And if I don't cut this, I'll never know. I need to try to see what I can come up with. I'm not doing a great job fussy cutting yet because I don't know if this is going to work and I'm not going to spend all that time with it. Fussy cutting it out and then figuring out, well, nope, that's not going to work. I got plan B. What plan D B is, I have no earthly idea, but I'm just saying. All right, so let's see. We put them on the page. We could.
put this here. I wonder if I could do half the wreath on the door. Nope. If I'm going to do half the wreath, it'll have to be this high here. That's it. We're going to cut the wreath in half. I want to put the wreath in there. It needs to be on the door. All right, so we're going to cut the wreath. So at least, let me cut this little jiggy off here. So at least the wreath will be on the door like it is in the real picture. The original size, shall I say it that way? And we can put that up there. And there's our perspective. So let us glue this on here. Glue, glue. Let's glue this on here and see how we do with it. All right, so there's their Merry Christmas wreath on the door. And the perspective is, is that the door is way tall and they're standing back from the door. They look a little blurry in here, but I'm okay with the blurry as long as I get them on the page. So instead of doing it with the uh, X-Acto knife, I'm going to shave a hair off the fanny part here. I don't want to take too much. I can't. I can't take too much off. All right. And then we need to shave a little off the lid. I could take some off his shoes, a little, a teeny. Is that straight across? No, not really. All right. And then we can shave a little off of her. So it looks a little more, I mean, there's still this part missing here, but let's see what we can do here. Oh, that's way too much. I still have to cut so much off of her. I might have to cut a little off of him and a little off of her to get the whole thing in the picture. But I do like them in the picture. I mean, I do, I do like the picture. I could move this up and then put something here at the bottom. I can't get the lamp post in there. It's just not going to make it. I don't know. If I put them down below, then I could have put more red on the door up there. And more of the wreath were going up. Okay, and I don't want to cut maybe like an eighth of an inch. Cut a little bit off her fanny. Oh, her bustle. Who cares, right? Let's see if I can get this on there. I don't know what I was thinking by not considering scanning and making adjustments. Wow. Okay, so now they really are short, so we'll push this up. And I still need to trim some off of here. Oh my gosh, another. Oh. All right, dude, you might be missing some of your tail coat here because I've trimmed off her bustle twice. So, you know, we have to give what we can. All right, so there's him. I'm going to put her in here like this. And I'm going to scoot. Is that enough of the pay off the page? Yeah, but... Ugh. I might have to trim her a little bit more. Okay, I'm going to trim her a teeny bit more. And then I'm going to put the snow from the other pictures that I can't use. 
and the bottom, let's see, that's not it. This is snow here, but it's not wide enough to go across. So what we shall do is, we shall take the snow from this one off the bottom, from under her feet here, and cut it because I can't use this picture, it's way too large. But I can still use the snow from it to compensate for any stuff here for the bottom of the page. All right, so. Yep, all right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this I'm going to glue this to the bottom of the page and then glue the, the picture on top of it and see how it does. All right, so we're going to put this on the very bottom of the page so I can scoot them up a little higher. Put that there. Will it close? Yes. Okay. And I'll trim this off later. But right now, what I want to do is get these people on here. So I really want them in the book. They are just too wonderful. Let me scoot them up. <gasps> Fabulous. And scoot them over. And make sure they're flush on the top. And that should do it. Okay, you can barely even tell. All right, so let's use this because I don't want any lumps or bumps on this. Although, you know, I don't believe that this glue stays on as long as I would like for it to. But I don't want any lumpy bumpies. And I don't want to have to stand here or sit here and scrape with a card. So that's not going to happen. So right, I'm going to turn it upside down so that I can make sure I get them flush to the top and on the side. And if I have a little bit extra on the edge there, yeah, see, I should have scooted up just a hair more, but I'm going to cut it and there they are, and I'm thinking now, I did scan the carolers from the, the two ladies that are doing the caroling on the other side, but I don't know if I should put them back to back. I would like to put something here. Not sure what. There is sheet music here, but I can't use that. But I am going to save the light. Um... There's not enough to do across here, I don't think. No. And the other one is even less than this one is. Okay, so that's out. All right, so I still need to find something to put on this. I'm going to let you guys go because this is dragging on way too long. <laughs> I will show you in the next video what kind of progress I made. See you guys uh, in the next video. Bye-bye.